XS sites, of course, is known for high visibility sites, the big dot site. Now, Bo Wallace, you guys have really kind of been talking up the straight line site, haven't you? Right. You know, we build night sites, and where we can, we like to put tritium both in the front and the rear. Right. But there are certain times the technical specifications of a gun prevent us uh, from being able to put a tritium vial, like in the case of the M&P, uh, M&P shield, the little 22 here. The rear sight's too low to house a tritium vial. Okay. With the white stripe, though, we still have a very viable sight system because, qu quite honestly, the most important thing on the gun is the front sight. Sure, because that's where your eye should be on the front sight. Right. And the other thing that gets overlooked a lot with the other night sights companies, everybody's focusing on the tritium. Well, that big white dot there is to reflect ambient light in the mid-light levels where so many of the encounters occur. Okay. And then when you get to these small pocket guns, self-defense guns, what you want is something that your eye is going to line up on very quickly, pick it up quickly. What I like about this, now, how did you describe how you want to line up the, the dot it's, and the... You just make a lollipop and follow the bouncing ball. So you put the dot on top of the stripe mm -hmm. and you have a lollipop. You got a lollipop. Okay. You put where you want the bullet to go underneath the dot. Quick and easy. That's a piece of cake. Why would you not do that? And by not having the tritium back here, you're saving some money too. Yeah, they're $30 less expensive. Sweet. Now, is this something that somebody can install at home? That's one of the hardest questions you can ask us because everybody's mechanical skill level uh, varies. Also, the different guns vary. Okay. Uh, on the M&Ps, most people can do those at home. The XDs, the sights are pressed in there so hard sometimes, even professional gunsmiths have lots of issues getting them off. But they could send you just the slide. Don't even have to send you the gun. No, all we need is a slide. We do installations there at the factory. Uh, in most cases uh, where guns have dovetails like this, it's only about $40 for the installation plus the sights. And you know you're going to get it put on right. Right. There you go. The uh, big dot and the straight line rear sight from XS Sights. Excess sights are known for their big dot sights, usually with tritium inside. But this is an option for you that's different. It has no tritium, but it's still a big dot sight. It's the big white dot that you're looking for. It's still the same sight picture. And I like what they've done with this. They put this on an M&P 22, which is really kind of a training pistol. It's a fun pistol, but it can be serious training. And it's exactly the same as your M&P full-size gun, but it shoots a 22 caliber. So if you're looking for something a little less expensive, guess what? The one without tritium, the sights without tritium are less expensive as well. So put it on your training gun and you can use the same sights on this gun as you have on your big full size gun. So just wanted to show you how this works in kind of uh, medium to low light. And you'll see, you, the, still the big dot sight jumps out at you. The excess sights without tritium Still the big dot sight picture you've always known and jumps out at you like they always have.